Five, Bite Force four, and Ribot on three, BattleBots two, facing off against one, a tried and true five, bulletproof robots, design from five. Caldera 12. Very unique robots here from Battletops. Really never seen anything like these uh, before. Um, they're coming out, and uh, the top has come off of Toad from Battletops. Caldera 12. Uh, the big bot is taking on Toad. The little bot is really handling Same Force. Uh, but Same Force coming out of nowhere here on the main bot of Caldera 12. Oh! oh and roofing Caldera 12. Summer in California, Paul Ventimiglia is celebrating. They're keeping his <laughs> legacy alive here in Battle Tots. Wow. It Huge still hits. works. It's still a good design. Caldera 12 there. It's weapon stopped momentarily, but it's spinning up again, really trying to oh. use this extra weight and kill one of these battle tots. They are hard to kill. They came around from behind on same force there, but if anything, it looks like it, it hurt Caldera 12, although now I'm seeing same force's weapon does appear to be down. Yeah, Caldera 12, its weapon is intermittent. You can see when it makes contact, it slows down. Something is wrong with that weapon. Typically, you see just absolute bulletproof reliability from Glenn Boxel and Caldera 12. I am hearing a lot of sound. I think that's the weapon on Toad there from Battle Tots spinning up to speed, but they're unable to self-right. So right now they're just stuck upside down with limited mobility. There they go, Toad is self-righted. We'll see if they can take advantage of the uh, wounded Caldera 12. Unable to fully spin up. The weapon is just sort of pushing the battle tots around. But Toad can't get a good hit here. Yeah, you can hear it when Caldera is running at full power. It just sounds like a jet engine in there. This is just a weapon that is turning slowly, slowly, slowly. The whole arena has gone quiet now. It does seem like Toad from Battletot's weapon has also stopped. Caldera 12 still slightly spinning up. I mean, that's going to count for something for the judges. Uh, when you see both weapons down on Battle Tots. You know, if I were Battle Tots here, I'd really try and take out that mini. It does seem stuck on the wall, um, so maybe you could just leave it there, because that will count uh, in the judges' decisions. Caldera 12, smaller robot being stuck there is just as important as if you had knocked out one of the two Battle Tots. So this that is huge uh, when going into a judges' decision, and that could cost Caldera 12 here. Now, this was a punishing fight. You know, we saw two weapons go down. We saw basically ha half of Caldera's weapon go down. And uh, this is going to be a lot closer of a judge's decision than it may look. I, I would try to knock the smaller robot off if I were Caldera 12 right now. It doesn't seem like they're trying to do that, and that could cost them. All right, as we end this match here, this one went the full three minutes. This one will go to the judges. The judges will be deciding who qualifies for the finals, Caldera 12 or Battle Tots. Now, we've talked a lot tonight about trade-offs.